Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this session, we will discuss uh, the remaining part of exercise 13.2 for from the subject of uh, additional mathematics on the topic of uh, vectors, especially the position vectors. So here we have question number 10 relative to an origin O, the position vector of A is given as 6i plus 6j. So this is basically O A vector and the position vector of B is this. So with reference to O, so this is OB vector. So we have to find AB vector and the point C lies on AB such that AC is equal to 3 upon 4 AB. So we have to find the position vector of C from origin. So this is question number 10. So this is the question number 10. We have this O A is given as 6i plus 6j and OB is 12i minus 2j so this is given and we have to find ab and ab is equal to ob minus oa and in place of ob we will place this value here in place of oa we will write this vector and by uh, simplifications we have obtained 6i uh, minus 8j and in the second part we have AC is equal to 3 upon 4 AB and we have already obtained this AB so we can place it here and uh, and OC is uh, basically have to obtain so this AC is basically OC minus OA and this is 3 upon 4 3 upon 4 AB and this OA can be placed here so this is OC is equal to 3 upon 4 AB and this OA. So this OC is equal to 3 upon 4 AB. So 3 upon 4 AB is this. And, and this is OA. And on simplification, we have obtained it. Uh, this uh, 6 i 6 i cancel out and only this remains. So this is 9 upon 2 and this is 6 i. So on simplification, we have 20 upon 2, 2 i. So this is the uh, C vector. Or the C position vector. Uh, let's solve question number 10. Uh, let's solve uh, question number uh, question number. Uh, 13. Let's uh, question number 13. So here we have this OA is uh, minus 2i plus 7j and OB is 2i minus j. OC is 6i plus lambda j and we have to find the lambda value of lambda. AC is given as 17. The magnitude of this AC is given as 17. This is this information is given. So AC is equal to OC minus OA. So this is OC is basically 6i plus lambda j and OA is minus 2i plus 7j. On simplification, we have this 6i minus minus plus 2 8j 8i and this lambda minus 7j. So this is and this is magnitude is equals to 17 so this square this is square under root is equal to 17 on the taking a square on both sides so it becomes uh, 17 square on this side and this is 8 square is 64 lambda minus 7 square is this 64 can be subtracted from here so it becomes 2 to 5 lambda minus 7 squares 2 to 5 taking a square root on both sides lambda minus 7 is equal to plus minus 15 and lambda is equal to this 15 plus 7 and minus 15 plus 7 so this is 22 or lambda is minus 8 or 22 so this is simple so this kind of questions are usually asked in uh, all level exams and the B part we have uh, AB is given as OB minus OA, OB is given and OA is given information. So in placing this AB is obtained as this. This 
this AB is given and uh, from this AB information is already given and AC is uh, basically 8i plus lambda minus 7. So AB vector is the unit vector and unit vector of AC is basically 8i minus lambda minus 7 divided by square. So the equating this so it becomes uh, uh, this so this is 2 this is 1 so we can place it here and this denominators are equivalent so this can be placed here and by taking reverse so this is basically this value 64 lambda minus 7 square this is taking a square on this side and a square on this side so this is this so lambda minus 7 is 256 taking a square root on both sides and this is lambda minus 7 this is plus minus 16 and for plus value for minus value and we have lambda is equal to 23 and lambda is equal to minus 1 7 since a b is uh, j s complement is a negative so lambda a b is j s component is negative so lambda is equal to minus 7 is the solution so because of this j s component is um, negative so this satisfies so this why that's why the lambda is minus 7 is the solution and the c part a b is this a c is this and b c is this and from this we have ABC is the right angle triangle. Right angle triangle in this condition is satisfied that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. And placing all these values, we have obtained this lambda is equal to this. Just placing the magnitudes here and taking squares. Magnitude and then squares. So the under root will go away. And this way the lambda is obtained as this. So that's the question number 13. Uh, uh, let's solve uh, question number 16. First read the question number 16. Relative to an origin O, the position vector of P, Q, R, R this. So this P vector is basically this one. A q vector is with reference to the origin relative to the origin so this position vector is this and r vector is this find the magnitude of this vector so easy pq can be obtained as uh, oq minus op and pr is or minus op and qr is basically or minus oq and this magnitude and then taking the magnitude of these vectors it's easy but this part b part and c part is a tricky one show that the angle o p q r is 90 degree and then o p is equal to lambda o q plus mu o r find the value of this lambda and mu so this question is very very important uh, so So this is OP is given and OQ is given, OR is given. So magnitude of PR is uh, PQ is OQ minus OP. So OQ and minus OP is this one. PR, OR minus OP, OR, PR similarly is QR, easy. So we have obtained all these values. Very easy. PQ is OQ minus OP. I'm substituting these values and we can obtain this. Similarly, this PQ the magnitude has also obtained. Similarly, PR the vector is obtained. Its magnitude can also be obtained this way. And similarly, this QR so its magnitude can also be obtained this way. So PQR is 90 degree. Then PR square is PQ plus QR square. The Pythagoras theorem should satisfy. So, if this satisfies, then we can say that this is a uh, Pythagoras, where uh, vectors are perpendicular to each other. So, in the next uh, C part, we have this OP is equal to lambda OQ plus mu OR. So, we will write this 
O, o, Q, o Q is placed with lambda and O R is with mu and O P is given as this. So we will just equate the I values and J values on both sides and we will have these two equations. From these two solutions, we will just simplify and equate the I values, I, I vectors and J vectors with this right hand side and we have these two equations and we solve this simultaneously and also simultaneously solving this equation we have obtained lambda is equal to 7 upon 3 and mu is equal to 2 upon 3 so this is the solution and this is very very important question in the next session we will discuss exercise 13.2 and uh, this exercise 13.2 is very very important especially in this part